<coughs> I forget how to play this. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Oh, I have to hold it? Thought it was... We almost kicked that little girl. <laughs> that was cool. I don't know what I'm talking about. Joey, you tripping. I'll find something else to do with him. It's getting dark. It might start to rain soon. He seems to be having fun. It's been a long time since I've seen that smile. Uh, what else is there? You probably am what? I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Strawberry Thanks. flavored chewies. Right, where the hell is my son at? I don't like this as this is very blurry. He's sitting on a bench, isn't he? Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here, sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. You got no idea, saw. kid. Me too. Where exactly is the exit to here? Oh. Come on, Dad. What are you doing? I'm coming. Is this not the exit? Hey Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. What the hell is the carousel? One please. That's a dollar. Yeah, that ride used to be the shit back in the day.
Holy shit. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh my god. Oh, it was a good thing my thumb was on the analog stick for that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at my boy go. Wouldn't it be some shit if he was an origami killer and he just fucking killed his own kid in a blackout? Wouldn't that be some shit? You could walk a little faster if that were the case, buddy. Okay, well, to be fair, he had a blackout. Got me in his hand. I love how no one's coming out to check on him. Like, what happened? What you mean? Like, why are you yelling, Sean? I love how no one's just coming out to check on him. They're just all finding their own damn business. I don't care if I lock the new phone. Oh, we're going to be the FBI guy. Good friends. What trophy is that? One second. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. Oh, cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but 
Uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get on well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it is none of my business. No, oh, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you. Sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Yes. You said Strange character, Captain Perry. Another Seems to be more in interested in meeting Can the press and investigating the crime. An I'm dying at first. Where's the water cooler down. when you need one? As you get Perry's assistance, show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end, he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes. Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions, or anything like that? No. Uh, he has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poor parts of the city. What do you say to that? That's absurd. The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. Time for a couple more. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that true? You seem to be well informed. Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. We were planning to announce this in the next few days, but it seems... Pure speculation. 
regulation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation, except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. Thank you for your call. Case is front page news in all the papers. It's not going to be easy investigating a crime under the glare of all this publicity. This investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Get a hold of yourself, man. Okay, so, yeah, she did, which means I could not hear, and trying to read while talk to her was a little daunting of a task. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go, because I don't know where Blake's office is. I know there's this interview over here, but I don't know where the hell anything else is. I'm very confused. Do I need to take an elevator? I'm lost. Why is that available? All the way across the damn thing. The secretary lady. Secretary lady. Which one would that be? There's a lot of people here. Okay, character. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case. Oh, he's right here. I have some work to finish here. Talk about that later <laughs> if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. Oh, never mind. Fuck. I guess this lady is who I need to talk to. Excuse me. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like, or still if you don't, sure. I'll accept. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Larry! Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Why she look like an elementary school principal? Just me? Whoa, 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 girl, hold on. Whoa, why the fuck are you doing all this fancy ass? You ain't need to go all... Oh, okay. No, I'm not gonna question it. 
Ah, uh, this is a lovely office. Mmm. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. This is a grade A office. Can I close the door? Oh, he's gonna do it for me. Never mind. You know, okay. Time to work. the only thing that I hate wow. about these kind of games, Ooh, like these huge story-driven well, games, like place to work. this and like um, Until Dawn and like the Telltale games, is that the graphics are shit. No time to lose. Gotta get down to work. First, analyze the case file. This one, this one, I can give leeway on because this is a remastered for a PS, um, for the PS2. But like, oh, is he gonna clear it to use his fancy gadgets? And who's the what's it's? Or you just a little OCD with his organization? Step one. Change the office. Ain't this some shit? No. No, thank you. I'd rather not be on Mars, thank you. Um, what's this one? I like this one. The whole oh, oh, oh. me liking me gusta. I kind of like this one. I I okay. I need to remember that it looks like the cloud. Remember that. I like that one. Nope. 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 We don't do this. Nope. No. Nope. 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 No, 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 excuse it the fuck out of me. Okay, yeah, no. The, the, let's not do this one. Let's not do this one. Apparently, if you swipe your thing to the side, it clears it. No, fuck that. I'm terrified of underwater. Ah, uh, I kind of like this one too. Not gonna lie, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. I don't like the desert one. I don't like the underwater one. I like this one in the uh, forest. Clear. All right. What does this do? No data from geo analysis. Okay, files. This is some interesting shit. This one. Always the same ritual. You know, I really wish that instead of um, throwing the controller up that you could swipe on the touchpad. That'd be so much better in my opinion. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. 
not a single lead to go on. Like, I wish I could just swipe up on my uh, touchpad. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, age between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. What if I geo-analysis this? Oh, whoops, I, I threw down my controller and not pressed the analog stick. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo-profiling any easier. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Geoanalyze. No data for geoanalysis. Cool. Okay. Now, what if I analyze this? The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. How do you know He's that, though? Calm and determined. But how do you He's know his type. what? He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Did I open this one already? Yes, I did. Yep, yep, yep. Skip, skip. Let me skip. Ah, oh, god damn it! No. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Okay. Clear. Let's look at clues. Yeah, this is actually kind of cool, though. Uh, let's geo-analysis this. No data. Cool. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. How the fuck do you know that, though? No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. <laughs> Just one origami store in town. Um, I guess. <laughs> Wait. Hmm. Common species. That doesn't help much. Okay, can I geo-analysis this? Yes, apparently I can. Yonkid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Clear all. I think I looked at everything that I can for that. Let's look at the map. Close the ARI. Great, is he gonna black out now too? Here we go again. I ready to go wash my face. What the hell is happening? 
I really hope I this game explains. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. I'm gonna take the trip though. Is this bitch on drugs? I, th I think I should have exited there and like tried to get to the bathroom, but honestly, you know, it's okay. My boy, my boy just a little drugged up. It's okay. This game doesn't make a lick of sense right now. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon that I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when who I the fuck back, calls it a carousel? It's a merry-go-round. Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. His name is Ethan Mars. Oh, what time was it? Five thirty, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, wow, okay. He, he was wearing a coat. It was beige. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Uh, crap, what color? I think they were green. green pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I... I can't remember exactly. It nah, it's a merry-go-round. You say you took your son to the park after school. It's a merry-go-round. didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Alright. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... It's a possibility. Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, well then, then we have about four days to find him alive. I still think he is the origami killer. Maybe the game's like leading you on to think that. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they do they think it's the origami killer? He's either the origami killer or the the game's gonna um lead him on but it is a possibility they're gonna lead him on to that and then like or lead you through the game to think that he is and then have some like what big old plot plot twist how could you lose sean like that you should never have taken your eyes off him i mean for god's sake how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park why did you leave him ethan why wasn't it enough losing Jason? Oh, you bitch. I should smack the shit out of you for that. I'm sorry. It's not what I meant to say. I miss him so
Ah, yes, I like this guy. Good evening. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. Uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have Mr. Shelby, I have nothing more to say. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Lisa, I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, please, to move along, sir. Oh, you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. The back of this door, to the right. Thanks. In the back of the store, to the right. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the registry. Don't fucking try anything. I love how this dude can like get into all these fights with asthma and he hasn't had one asthma attack. Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now. You shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Oh! Uh, oh! God damn! Fuck him! There's no restart from checkpoint. Damn it! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up, or I'll shoot! Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. You're not a killer, are you? You just want a few extra dollars. No blood on your head. No, I'm not a killer. I ain't no killer. Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. And now... Nah, I was right this time. Damn. Knock his ass out. I was on thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been well, here. At least I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. 
Jenna. Please, A lizard. Take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. Did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby, I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. Just gonna leave him on the ground. <laughs> So we're just gonna leave the the robber on the ground, and he's just gonna sit there at the counter like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this game? What is this game? Who are we playing as? Are we playing as um the mother now? She got a hell of a hunch. Turn the TV on and go right back to bed, girl. Oh. Never mind, it's got static on it. Never mind. That's mood. I'm trying to go back to bed, girl. Me too. I shouldn't take those damn pills again. What? A hot drink is what I need. Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Get your ass back up there. Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. Me too. If I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. A hot shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. Are, are we just not going to find out who this is? Like... Uh, maybe I'll go to bed and give the sleep thing one more shot. I really need sleep. How hard can it be to fall asleep? You'd be surprised, girl. 2.47 a.m. Always the same time. Are you gonna really go outside? Yeah, that's what I thought. She must have taken some small ass drinks if it took her three of them to get that little cup down. What that? No, 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 wait, wait. Oh, it's... It's water. No, come on. No, you gonna pick that bottle up now. Now you hear? You gonna pick that bottle up. Never mind.
Oh, fuck that. I would no I would not lean on no I would not lean on a window like that no sir rebob no please get off the window thank you wait where am I going I'm in oh this is her bedroom this is an interesting apartment I guess I'd just be like a condo? I mean... Where is her bathroom at? Haha! -ha. Found it! Wait, we're gonna turn the light on. No, 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 never mind. Light was on. I'm just stupid. It was a very unnecessary scene. I thought you were going to close the door. I love how they caught, they like, that angle, you could actually see her stuff. Like, you could see her vagina, but they still made it white like she still had her underwear on. From that camera angle. Because you can't show nudity in video games. Well. Outlast is another story. It's an interesting sink. Where's your shower at? Do you not have a shower? You look what? What am I? What's this? Okay. Shield your eyes, kiddos. Shield your eyes. Demonetize. <laughs> I didn't think they would show this. No, we're gonna work we're, we're not no we're just gonna turn this off and we she gonna get changed that is an awkward way to dry yourself off and she her legs are still wet <laughs> um what does this one do Oh, we're putting our clothes back on. You just change into the same outfit that you just changed out of. Um, I can say no, she did not wipe. But I guess it didn't matter considering she was going to go to the bath or shower anyways. So I guess that didn't really matter in this case. But she st still should have wiped nonetheless. Girl got them bags. I do that, but I do it with my beard. I like check both sides of my beard out. She's not thinking anything. So we're gonna turn the light off. Hey, I, I mean, I mean, yeah, but I just feel like it was a little unnecessary. Oh, my fridge was open. Who is in my house? Who that be? How on earth did the fridge just open like that? I hate the whole thinking in Get their together, head. together, girl. You probably just left it open by accident. No? I think I'm starting to be seriously scared. The fridge door. I'm sure I closed it. Yeah, I'm I'm just waiting on, for it to tie into the main story. Look. 
Going without sleep is driving me crazy. Get up, close the fridge door, go to bed. Simple. There is a motherfucker in my house. Yeah, uh-huh. Someone's here. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. We're going for the phone. Are you... Get him, girl. <laughs> oh, crap. I pressed the wrong button. I hate how they have L1 in the circle. I don't like that. Because it doesn't register to me that it's L1, because L1 is a square. Or a rectangle shaped on the button. I want more than one of them? What? Yo! <laughs> We're gonna go for this one first. with this game, bro. I... Ooh. So what we not going to do Stop streaming. I don't even want to play this anymore. <laughs> yeah. I that was literally thirty minutes of our life just wasted. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried like, back. we just was wasted all that time. What, about 15 minutes? Never been seen again. <laughs> oh. 
Oh shit, a locker ticket. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Why is it always raining? <laughs> Why did he do that? Why didn't he just go out the front door? Why is there a crowd of people? Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son has disappeared? still alive? I will run all you fuckers over. Oh, you missed it. I didn't like start the stream, but the title page for this, where you can like go to the options and new game, continue game and whatnot is like, it's great. It's such a cool me menu, such a cool menu. What's very random? What I was talking about? Gonna, gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. I, I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Uh, it, it like, it just like reminded me of it. Like, cause we were talking about the rain. I pressed it! Oh, I had to hold it. <laughs> this poor guy. Um, what? This is some life is strange shit right here. <laughs> we just talk about how those body should spell. <laughs> Knock him all over. Jason! Here I come. Jason! <laughs> Can I just do this for the rest of the game? <laughs> Jason! 
<laughs> to be honest. Jason! Why do you use the same voice acting? Like... Jason! Why do I have to scream me? He's right there. Oh, never mind. Excuse me. <laughs> what? <laughs> That would have been cool. That would have been cool. But you know, that's not the kind of game that this is. No, this game is weird as hell. Line 18, box number thing was just a fucking nightmare. Jason... Jason is dead. Where the hell is 18 at? Aha! Can I get a better angle on this? I can. See, I would have liked that whole idea of, like, everyone waking up on the floor, like, time of free, because that would be some, like, Life is Strange shit, and that would have been cool. I do have to say, though, I think Beyond Two Souls is better than this. Because Beyond Two Souls actually kind of made sense and has a better story. In my opinion. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed playing Beyond Two Souls. Where am I at? Is this just my house? What? Where the fuck am I at? Alright, let me go pee right quick. Got a tinkle every time. I'm in a hotel somewhere. Yeah, I bet you you will. You rap about it. Yeah, word. Keep, keep it real. Mmm, pee and then touch your face. Mmm. So, I was mistaken. This was actually a PS3 game that was remastered and put on PS4. Which is kind of sad considering Beyond Two Souls was as well, but Beyond Two Souls I think had better graphics on the PS4 than this, just my opinion. Hold on, before I do anything, let me check out my thoughts. What can I say here? A shoebox. What's the connection with Sean's disappearance? Box. A box from the locker. What am I going to find inside? Motel. I took a room in the first motel I saw. S Gotta open it and find out what's inside. Am I the one who who put this box in the locker? I don't remember. 
Maybe I'm the one. Maybe I'm the one. Who is the schizophrenic psycho? Yeah. Um. K? Excuse me, what? Four, two, one. What does this have to do with anything? There's a one on it. I need my jacket. I'm getting freezing again. Are you afraid to show courage to save your son? Joe's Garden parking lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Where the hell is Lexington? Can, can I get a uh, geographical update on what the hell is Lexington? Hold on, I'm putting on a jacket. I'm almost out of my almonds. My almonds. Even though I like bought them yesterday. I need me almonds. Oof. Uh, you didn't really miss anything. There's an address on here. Five origami figures, each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Is this gonna be like some trial to like test my morals with the gun? Like I'm gonna have to kill certain things at each trial? Is that what's gonna happen? Okay, so... For some reason... I'm in a motel. I don't know why. Um... The box had four origami figures, a paper that had an address, a gun, and a little um, recorder that had Sean saying, Dad, where are you? Help. And it said, are you prepared to save the ones you love? And I have to go to some place called Lexington. I'm guessing that's the city that they're in. And I was like, can I get a geography update? Like, where the hell is Lexington at? And so each origami is a trial. I'm assuming the gun's there because he has to kill something. So I'm gonna assume that you have to like break Killer your morals. Age between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing Why? the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, uh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? <laughs> it may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. 
I'm all ears. No, I wanted to be calm. I didn't want to be aggressive. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. What on earth does that mean? All the victims are drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? I came here to find a killer, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do, with or without your fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! What's he getting so triggered for? You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? Weather forecasts are right. Less than 72 hours. Well, in that case, on your computer, it'd be Cortana. Because you don't have a uh, MacBook. I don't think Siri even runs on MacBook. I'm not sure. Just the popos, open up. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. Well, you never know that. I'm they could sure just be hiding and not legal. listening or uh, not going for the door. Call the cops. Hey, look, Joey, at your house. Looks like this, this is your room. He's a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. He said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Well, yes, that is true, but it's a video game. All those rules don't necessarily always apply. Multivitamins. There's a awful amount of candles lit lit in here. Just like this, point that out. <laughs> Casually has Bible verses written all over the wall. Well, you have to live there. This is your this is your place now. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. 
Oh, anything. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. Are you sure we're not playing out last two right now? Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. That's a great A alibi, if you ask me. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Well, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? What are you doing? You mustn't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. More and That's more. Enough. Leave him alone. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. Uh oh. He told you to go and find Carter, that kid in the shit. park. The are you out of your mind? You all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop. Stop. That's enough. <laughs> So you obeyed them. You should do that to keep Z away. that boy with you when you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! You gotta unleash the Hulk. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? What the hell? You're gonna go to jail. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, Nathaniel. I shall Nathaniel. you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy us. For Christ's sake. Shoot! Drop the gun! Now! Gently put the gun down on the floor. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To get rid of the voices in your head. But you have to trust me. Back away. Slowly. Drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. It was only a crucifix. God damn it! I don't want to. <sighs> Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. No, nope. I want to restart checkpoint. No, nope. we no, no. I don't care how far back it puts me. No. That's what we're not going to do. It was the music that got me. It was the music. Look at that title screen, though. You can't tell me that title screen. Cool. You can't tell me. It's, it's really good. It's, it's lit. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you. Alright, this time we're not gonna fuck up. Know who talks to you. Don't speak 
that name. What is he saying? Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. That's some great A voice acting. He orders That's you to enough. go and find Leave new prey, him does alone. It? He needs more and more. No, you mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. Carter, I told you to go shit. and find that kid. Get out of my mind. The voice is tormented all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop. Stop. That's enough. Wouldn't that be some shit if Klosterman so was the voice actor for this? Stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? If Klosterman no. voiced Nathaniel. Stop. Killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Ooh. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. Saw the to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Uh huh. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To get rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Put the gun down, my boy. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of His empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Back away, slowly. Pick the random answer, because why the hell not? And that's what the fuck he says. All right. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. The Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, freak, the show's over. You're under arrest. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. Why why did we arrest him? He was just defending his home. I don't like these loading screens. I could go without the um, zoom in of every character as we're going to play them. She knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Ah, as we're free for the moment, we'll love it. Good old and hair in my pocket, just in case. I mean, it's good. Like, the graphics are good in those cutscenes, or like the loading screens, but they're not good at any other time. Did she just leave that kid on the floor? What? Everybody home? Mrs. Bowles. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. 
Hello, little cutie. Oh, you're looking for your mama. This letter. Holy fuck. I hope she... I hope she hasn't... Hang on, baby. First, I gotta find Mama. Come on, I have to search the house. Maybe it's not too late. Come on, I have to search the house. Maybe it's no, not too late. No, turn around, you dumbass! Why, bruh? Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Third time's a charm. Oh shit. Shake, 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 shake. Mrs. Bowles. Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up. Wake up. Am I gonna lay on the bed? I can't tell. What do you want me to do? I'm just carrying her. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I. I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this one with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah, I just slipped my wrist and tried to commit suicide, but I'm feeling okay. Baby needs me. You know. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Cocky ass. I was a private eye. Her name is Emily. Hey! Gotcha. I was on a thought there. Mommy will live for now. Let's see how Junior's doing. Okay, can you not turn the fuck around? Thank you. Yeah, you should probably wash them hands first. Uh, wait, where's the kitchen at? I kind of missed that part. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? <laughs> pretty good idea. Oof. No, why did he stop walking away? God. Okay. How do you do this? You take it off, you wipe.
There you go, fresh new baby. That should feel better. Right, Emily? You didn't wipe. Her booty hole gonna be itching hey, later. What's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Of course. Now I know why you're crying, my little peachy poo. <laughs> my little peachy poo. <laughs> I, I bet you he's from. I bet you he's from Boston. Tilts it a little bit, turns it almost upside down completely. That baby chugged that fucking bottle, goddamn. job Emily hmm? you're feeling good now right <laughs> now I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze okay all right go to sleep go to sleep go to sleep you little fucker go to sleep go to sleep We changed. Oh. I fucked it up. I didn't go slow. Um. Oh. Sorry, kid. You're not done rocking, right? We fed it, changed this nasty ass shit diaper. And now we're rocking the baby to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, you piece of shit. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Now smash her. She's in a weakened state who loves you now. Smash. Can you take care of this baby on your own? Smash. 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 He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe. Maybe he couldn't take it. That's what happened to the also to the whore that, that was in that one room. Do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? <laughs> no. He left the house without a word and He diggly dipped. There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure 
It wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't. Oh, it was like the one thing that so Ethan hard. got. Wasn't yeah, it? I bet you it was. It's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. In the drawer in the living room. That's what Susan said. That's not the way to the living room. This is the way to the living room. What'd you say, dude, for? There's a lot of drawers in here. Hold on. Alright. Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mom. Do I it's time for me just to diggly down dip? Stop thinking about that, Well, Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. The parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I going to find here? Excuse me? Hey! Oh! Ha! Ah. Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? I'd like to get my car. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you I've are. Been here that car's been there for Don't two remember. years. We took it out for a drive every month and check the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here, it's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. A car? Why am I being sent to look for a car? Thanks. 
Ah, oh, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Car's been here for two years. What does that mean? Third floor down. Dozens of cars, but which one am I looking for? A nice car. I guess I'm gonna follow the GPS. Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. Now you're gonna put your seatbelt on? Ooh, we got a stick shift. Okay, there's no reason for that car to change three different colors while driving. Oh my god, that is loud. Oh my god. What the hell? If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangman. It's my only need. No turning back now. Ah, shit. I'm gonna fuck these quick time events up. I'd do anything to save my son. So I'm assuming that's why all the other dads, like, disappeared. It's because they did it and. I've got to do it. For Sean's sake. I have no they choice. They died in the trials.
I pressed A. Fuck off. I pressed L2. There are police right there. Okay, okay, sure. Sure! Sure, I hit them! Okay. I kept shaking my control my head said I'm blood. Alyssa, I'm pretty sure it's someone talking through the GPS. It's a, it's a long story. It's a long story. Damn, I couldn't tell if those sirens were coming from the game or from real life. Oh, great, this, this little fucker again. <laughs> Good driver. <laughs> I mean, you right, though. I passed my test. Must be a good driver.
I've got to sleep. The reception. Let's hope they've got a room left. The origami. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Feeling the register. I bet you he's a 40 year old virgin and still lives with his mom the way he talks. Madison Page 27, single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, do the courtyard. Courtyard. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. someone there. Is he... is he wounded? Sir? Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. Number 207. 207? Why don't you just say 207 like every other person? Shape. You should see a doctor. You must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. I'll help him first and ask questions later. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. Yes, you can. I should disinfect his cuts. Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Here, take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. Yeah, we know what the fucking painkiller is. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. 
Damn, boy, chill! Shit, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? Necofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. I should disinfect his cuts. Is she gonna walk through the door or like? I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. Sorry. Are you okay? Ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. There. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. Alright. I'm gonna take a shower. Alright. Let me help you. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Go take a shower with them. Well, she peeping. Look at that. She's like, how big is the shroom? Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm I'm just passing through. Can we just talk about how he still has clothes on? And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. Girl. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. <laughs> By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. The box. I have to open another origami figure. <sighs> origami numero dos. Why don't you just open all of them? Why don't you just open all of them? Like... So what does that chick have to do with this exactly? 
Ooh, we're going back to the detective. You know, with how heavy it rains there, why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Well, could've I did. Him. Why didn't you shoot? I did have a gun, and I did shoot, but I restarted. I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. A street cop was being through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? Norman. That's him. You're a slot porter? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Damn. Just stand there. He's gonna get away. Ah! Hey, man, watch out! Ah! I pressed it! Quick time. Hey, man, watch it. Hey, man, what you got? Where the fuck is Blake? Shit, where'd he go? Can't see anything here. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. Come on. Show your ugly bastard face. Took you long enough. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. Origami. Why did I say origami? Origami. Origami. Gammy. Uh. 
It's like saying my name is Darkness and Yammy. No, 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 no. That's not how that works. Wait. Wake up, detective. That's a mood. There's a yikes, there's a big on yikes. Up and at him. I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. I can't breathe with this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. What if you were to, uh, unfold the origami? What's over here? Where this? Who that be? Who that be though? Who that be? Who that be? Is that Shelby as a kid? Or a young man? Or that his father? Who that? Alright, you gotta take a piss, my boy? Yes, you do. <laughs> I meant to ring the door, but okay. Hello. Who? Who that be? You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Sure. Please, take a seat. Didn't really expect to see her. Wonder what she wants. She wants his dick! 
this private detective slong get that sh money. But a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. There's nothing you can do to help, Lord. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Oh, you bitch. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope may be your only link to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. The game volume changes so much in this game. Like one cutscene is quiet as hell, and the next one just, bang! like God. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. Why is the only top part of his coat wet? What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Stupid to bring Lauren. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. Security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Sounds like my kind of party. All right, who wants to play some billiards? Kramer must be loaded. What do you think? Never mind. We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. There okay. goes. This dude is just okay. out. Just let me know if you need me. Can you stop changing directions? God. Him. This dude. Uh, wait, who could I talk to there? Music's a little loud, isn't it? I'm looking for Gordy. Have you seen him? Okay. 
Gotta find Gordy Kramer. myself thinking here. Booze, babes, and coke. Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. Have you seen Gordy? Sorry, no. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Hey. Good-looking girl. Keep your mind Can I go outside? Job, Scotty. Can you turn the fuck around, please? Okay. Gotta find Gordy Kramer. Can I... Thank you. Jesus. I don't like the controls in this game. I haven't seen Laura for a while. Better see what she's up to. Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. See Gordy Kramer. I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Maybe bust a few heads? Yeah, attempt it. But not such a good idea. Too many goon shaped reinforcements around here. Those two goons and me seeing Gordy don't mix. Gonna have to think of another way to get rid of him. So, did you find Gordy? He's upstairs. Got two goons blocking the way. Do you want me to handle them? <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? Knock them out with a pair of high heels? Leave it to me! Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs! She's gonna seduce the them. I hate how you have to actually hold R2. I I hate how you have to hold R2 to move. Miss, are you all right? Hey, wake up. Shit. Another one's going to OD on the dance floor. <laughs> I'm just chill right here. I hear noises that I'm not particularly liking.
<laughs> Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. <laughs> More drunk. One or one or the two. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! Blah, da, 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 da. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was laughed. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can believe. I'm the origami killer. The origami? I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. And I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! Damn. <laughs> I'll fuck you up. I'm ready now. Your boy got his quick time events ready. <laughs> I'm shaking. Damn. Oh, more shaking. Okay, kiddos, I will be right back. I got to go take care of my doggo. So I'll be back in just a second. <laughs>
Okay, I back. Let's continue this, shall we? It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Yeah. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger no. and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. <laughs> uh, they put like their own made up TV shows on the TV. All right, back to Ethan we go. Tough guy. I think we are approaching 50% way through the game. The main story takes about 10 hours to complete, but I am known for completing the games a little bit faster than that, so we're about almost to the halfway halfway point. <laughs> It might be a trap. I had better be careful. This is the old Pico power station. I thought it was abandoned. <laughs> Um, the dude was like, my father can have you disappear overnight, Mr. Shelby, and here we are. Now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. Butterfly? The origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. So, am I looking for a butterfly? What the hell am I supposed to do here? Hold on, I gotta rearrange my fingers here. If I can press all these damn buttons. Yeah, that's barbed wire. Electrical condensers. Going by the sound of them, they're still active. And that a little dangerous to have these out in the open in the rain, where you can visibly see the electricity. A butterfly on the door. That's where I need to get to. A little conspicuous, if you ask me. Wait, hold on. There's something there. Matches. Now we can go on and look on in. Yeah. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. L1. I 
should never have got into this pipe. It's suicide. Where's this pipe go? I've got a bad feeling. Dumbass. That's we should have kept the mask, but glass, broken glass, sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it slowly so I don't tear up my arms. The match flame it indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. getting blurry. Easy does it. I've got to move slowly or I'm gonna faint. How are you going to faint? What? I'm gonna stop moving for a second and see if I can get this stuff to go away. No, I'd like to know that too. I mean, you're right. Oh, I let go of X there. Oops. Keep it together, Ethan. Come on! Right. I guess I don't really have any choice. What? I was holding the buttons. What? Let it go. We. I'm too claustrophobic for this.
sounds like my type of water slide. Risk of electric shock. No kidding. Better have a good look at each one of those condensers. If I choose the right route, I'll have a better chance of coming through this in one piece. I better leave while I'm still alive. I'm not gonna save Sean by dying here. I must have lost a lot of blood. I can hardly stand up. A field of electric condensers. I've got to go through them to reach that butterfly. The spaces are different. Some condensers look easier to pass than up. Think here. We'll go through this one. The artificial game lengthening on this is so real. Okay, I guess this would be the next one to go to. I guess this would be the next one. I don't know what button that is though. The R1. The artificial game lengthening is so god forsaken real here. Well see I thought that had something to do with the story. Like something was gonna happen to her. Cause like all this shit with her apartment and whatnot. And her boobs and her shower didn't take 20 fucking minutes for this. I did I did say after the event that it was pointless. And uh, we did waste 15 minutes of our life. So I do have a defense to that. One more? Oh god, please don't be complex. Okay. 
No, <laughs> so for the last one, you just uh, walk, dip on through. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. It's on Roosevelt. With that information, you could probably find him. Like, honestly. It's on the f five something block. Like, you could have that search party out and fixed in hours. Like, really? Really? The rest of this game ain't even necessary. You can just literally go find your son. And here we go back to this useless piece of crap. Electrified. Trophy earned. No, you're going to, for your summer assignment that you were supposed to do, you have, you're going to rewrite one of them using the theories or the criticism that we learned in class. Because we already analyzed the stories. Oh my god. It's not something we would be analyzing, we already did analyze them. Which was what the summer assignment was for. Oh my god. What happened to him? Yeah, but don't we have to rewrite it for the homework, though? Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? I think we have to actually rewrite it. Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. You've got a hell of a fever. Fever medicine! I'm ass in the bathroom. What else is wrong? Are those burn marks on your chest? <sighs> I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna rewrite it just in case. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. That's only two paragraphs. It's not that hard to write. Nope. This is what I want to do. Arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. Okay, so we need the fever meds and the uh, disinfectant. up. He's running a fever. Oh, never mind. She's gonna take everything. For okay. Why didn't you do it the first time? Instead of making having me have to make two damn trips to the bathroom. I'm 
no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Uh, disinfect it. I can see that. It's disinfectant. Not terribly good for burns. Oh, I need the ointment for that. Your wounds are disinfected. Wait, man. That should ease the pain. Get them ointment pills. What else can we give them? Let's give them some painkillers. Alright, let's get you bandaged up now. Oh, it's just like, um, just like Outlast. Wrap them arms. See, I don't know if it is Sean's mother. Because... Like... I don't know, the way she was talking to him at the police station. I don't know. I just don't know. That's all I can do. How do you feel? Ethan. Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. Yeah, but she, like, really took it back, though. Like, she, she knew that she didn't mean to say that. She was sorry for it, though. Yeah, how are you unconscious, but you can roll to the side? <laughs> Explain. Yeah, he's totally unconscious. But I don't I don't know because why would she do that? Why would she risk killing her own her other son to get back at him? How do you feel? Busting the kneecaps. Better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. Yeah, but she wants that schlong. When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. She wants that. We need a prota protagonist. Love, so that's why she's doing it. You said you were here because you're an insomnia. <sighs> Me too. I am. Um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's 
Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. I no one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. Oh, you fucking idiot. Should have accepted the help, but you had it. Numero Trace. Are you afraid to make surf safe at 9711 Marble Street? And we're in need of here. <laughs> oh, we're gonna end it up here. For now. I've got oh. nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? Guess we'll do that for this cutscene. I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection. But the next day, there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. I'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. I mean... My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a what damn... What she was saying is what I've been saying. That, like, the blackouts is because of that. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. He's right. Legally, you gotta tell us what you know. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. 
The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. You out of your mind? Back off, Jaden. This guy Let knows go. something and I'm not leaving here until he tells me what it is. You have no right. <laughs> this dude has no temper. Like, damn, chill. Chill. <laughs> Why doesn't Jaden like jump in? Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you and you'll be off the case. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? When you get cold feet? You don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me all rights. So you're gonna stop this shit right now! Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. He must have fallen out of his pocket. Dun dun dun! So, what does that have to do with the girl exactly? <laughs> America, explain. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminal. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. That's a bold assumption to make. What's the point? Can I please get to a spot where I can end the stream? Okay. We're gonna end it here. I want to thank everybody so much for coming out. It's been fun. But I'm going to head off, eat dinner, start my homework. So, I will see you guys for the next stream, Marino, which I don't know when that will necessarily be. Hopefully soon, but we shall see. But in the meantime, boy guys, bye bye, bye bye.